Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be going over the best settings for your YouTube multi-stream with Ada Multistream. This quick guide is meant to create the absolute best quality picture and viewing experience as recommended by YouTube. Let's get started. But first, I want to highlight a feature built right into OBS and Twitch that you may not know about, but we will leverage here today. OBS has six audio tracks that you can choose what audio goes where. In this example, I have already set it up so all six audio tracks will have my hold screen, my microphone audio goes to tracks one and two, and my desktop audio only goes to track one. You can utilize these audio tracks with music playing on your stream. On your Twitch stream, you may have music playing in the background, but the OBS audio mixer means you can choose to not let music go to your Twitch VOD track. We are going to leverage that VOD track today for our YouTube multi-stream. Inside OBS, find multi-stream, open up settings, click main outputs, and add output, and then YouTube. For your YouTube server, keep it set as the primary YouTube ingest server. Enter your stream key and press create output. If you ever need to tweak these settings again, you can do so by pressing output settings inside of multi-stream. But we are going to open advanced settings and configure everything we need in there. The first thing we need to select is our video encoder. Now most of the time you will rely on a hardware based encoder, such as NVIDIA NVENC H264, which is what I've selected here. Most likely you'll also see that if you have a NVIDIA GPU, or you'll use H.264 AMF if you have AMD, or H.264 QSV for Intel Arc. If you don't see any of these, no worries, I'll cover the X.264 software encoder in just a bit. The key takeaway is that we are choosing an H.264 encoder. Set your FPS to 60. Rescale output works to take your streamed game and lower its resolution to maybe make it easier on your hardware or your network. This can be useful if you're playing a game in 4K but only want to stream in 1080p. If you're already streaming at 1080p, you don't need to worry about rescaling your output. But if you choose to downscale, use bilinear or Lansoch scaling and set the scaled resolution down to 1920 by 1080. Rate control should be set to CBR for constant bitrate. Your streamed bitrate depends on what quality you are streaming at. YouTube allows much more bitrate compared to Twitch, so we can be a lot more forgiving in our bitrate settings. If you are holding 1080p at 60fps, set this to 12,000. If you are streaming at 1080p at 30fps, go down to 10,000. 720p at 60 uses 6,000, and anything lower uses 4,000. Your keyframe interval should always be set to 2, and this is pretty much standard across any streaming platform. For the preset, it's best to choose P5 slow or P4 medium. Anything lower, and you'll see a noticeable decrease in video quality, and anything higher can be very taxing on your machine. Tuning should be high quality. Multipass mode should be two passes at quarter resolution. For profile, set it to high. Keep look ahead turned off, and it's best to keep psychovisual tuning set to on, as it helps improve visual quality across faster moving sections of your stream. The GPU is determined by which GPU you want to do all this encoding. For 99% of you, this number will stay at zero, and your max B frames will be two. Scrolling back to the top of the window, we will select audio settings. Make your audio encoder AAC, now this audio track section is where we will leverage our pre-existing Twitch VOD track. I'm assuming you already set up that Twitch VOD track and you probably set it to track 2. So we are going to send audio track 2 to YouTube. This isn't a requirement, but it does make things a lot easier. Your bitrate can stay at 128. Now if you don't have a hardware encoder, use the X264 encoder. You should also use X264 if your GPU is already under a very heavy load. We'll be keeping pretty much everything the same as before. Remain on CBR and follow the same bitrate guidelines we just covered. For your preset though, choose very fast. This is the best balance between performance and quality for most CPUs. If you're on a lower end machine, go with super fast or even ultra fast, but this will create noticeable artifacts on your stream. Audio settings are the same, FFmpeg AAC at 128. At the bottom, press OK. 
and now YouTube is fully configured inside of Multistream. If you've got any questions, join us on our Discord at adam.tv discord, and a link for that is in the description.